What's up? My name is Cade Peterson, and this is my first YouTube video talking about conquering the comfort zone. I don't know if I'm going to continue to make videos like this, but I felt like I wanted to get on here and at least share a little bit about my comfort zone journey. For those of you that have seen my social media, wanted to give kind of more insight as to why I do what I do, how it has impacted me, and how I can help you to change your life as well. So if you didn't already know, over the last few years, I've been doing crazy things to get out of my comfort zone and really just push my limits. The amount of things that I've learned from this is incredible. I truly am a new person. I'm gonna be talking about that in today's video. I wanna start off by explaining my journey and how I got started and what led to the biggest life change of my life. So a couple of years ago, I went and heard the Iron Cowboy speak at this event. If you do not know who he is, you should look him up. But for the sake of this video, he spoke on intentionally making yourself uncomfortable and that is what has allowed him to see the greatest success in his life. And when I first heard that, I asked myself, why would I intentionally seek discomfort? That doesn't make any sense, that sounds horrible. But then as I listened to him speak, I realized how comfortable I was living and how much more I am capable of if I just break out of my comfort zone. I realized so many of my fears, so many of my desires for comfort was truly the only thing holding me back from achieving my potential. So I went home that night and I wrote down everything that I was scared of, everything that could possibly make me uncomfortable emotionally, physically, mentally, spiritually, whatever it may be. And then I created a challenge called the Uncomfortable 30 where for the next 30 days I did one thing that would make me uncomfortable. Now some of the things that I did might not be uncomfortable for some people and some of the things I did might sound impossible for some people, but this was tailored to me. Every single thing I did made me uncomfortable and after each one, I learned more and more about myself and I realized how much more I'm capable of doing. I truly wish I could just express everything that I have learned from leaving my comfort zone and it is just so much that I truly feel obligated to share my journey with people because it has changed my life and I want people to experience what I have experienced. I want to help people get out of their comfort zone so that they can have a new life. Now I wanna share two things with you that I've learned from leaving my comfort zone and how it has impacted me. The first one being there is no growth that will ever happen inside the comfort zone. No matter who you are, I do not know you. I do not know what it is you're trying to achieve, but I promise you whatever it is that you are trying to achieve in life, it will not happen being comfortable. Nothing great in this life has ever or will ever be achieved inside the comfort zone. You look at any successful person, a successful athlete, a successful politician, a successful business person, it doesn't matter who it is, they did not get to where they were being comfortable. So if you want to be great, I'm sorry, if this hurts to hear, you have to get uncomfortable. The second thing I learned is motivation is crap. 92% of people fail their New Year's resolution. And the reason for that is because they rely on motivation. Everybody at the beginning of the year goes through the same process of new year, new me. This is it. I feel really excited about this year. And then a week later, they're all of a sudden their motivation's gone and their New Year's resolution is down the drain. And that's just the sad reality. Motivation is temporal. It comes and goes. You can never be motivated at every hour of every single day. You may be motivated to wake up early in the morning tomorrow, but when that alarm clock goes off, I guarantee that motivation is not gonna be there. So what's the solution? Learn to do things that you don't want to do. Or in other words, learn to get uncomfortable. Be comfortable with being uncomfortable. When you do things that you don't want to do, what happens is you develop discipline. Discipline is one thing that all successful people share because discipline allows you to do things that you need to do even when you don't want to do it. When you don't want to go to the gym, you still do it because you need to. When you don't want to work, you still do it because you need to. When you don't want to do X, Y, Z, you still do it because you need to despite that desire for comfort burning inside you. So as I've done all of these crazy things, I've learned to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. And when you can develop discipline and resilience in one aspect of your life, it carries over into all aspects. So if you struggle with following a diet, if you can learn to be disciplined in going to the gym and doing X, Y, Z, it's going to be a lot easier to be disciplined in this aspect because you've already practice it in other aspects. So a lot of times people see my challenges and they're like, how could that possibly help you? How could calling your ex-girlfriend and asking her for your strengths and weaknesses, how could hitchhiking to Las Vegas, how could doing a thousand pull-ups help me be a better 
person, help me to be better financially, be better spiritually. How, like it doesn't make sense. They don't correlate. It all correlates. Trust me, the more that I have done things that make me uncomfortable, the more unstoppable I feel in my life in every aspect. And like I said, I have just grown so much that I truly feel a desire to share this knowledge with the world because I want them to experience what I've experienced. So I actually created a totally free wellness plan that will help you start with the super easiest, simple steps to get started with leaving your comfort zone. It does not matter if you're trying to improve mentally, physically, financially, emotionally. I have seven steps in each of those aspects and I invite you to check out this wellness guide and do one of them. Just do one of them. And if you feel up for it, do another one. Do all seven. They are seriously the simplest, easy steps that will get you a little bit out of your comfort zone. A lot of people, when they see my content, they're like, I couldn't do a thousand pull-ups. I'll never get there. You don't need to do that. You just need to start with something small. And when you do that, you'll realize, okay, I can do more. And then you can start taking bigger and bigger steps. But everyone started somewhere. So feel free to click that link below. Let me know what you think of this video. Again, I don't know if I'm going to keep doing these videos, but I just wanted to at least get a message out there to those that have been following my short form social media fun content. I wanted to kind of give you more info as to why I do what I do, how it has helped me, and how it can help you too. Comment down below what you think. Would love to see you guys in future videos.